Introducing the Honkai verse and hello YouTube. We're going to be watching uh, introducing the Honkai verse just so we can get a little bit more of an in-depth view of Honkai Impact. Uh, we're going to be playing it a lot during the subathon that is starting on the 21st of this month, Saturday, and it's potentially going to go for seven days long, if not longer. So feel free to stop by and watch us play some Honkai. Let's have a look at this though. Hopefully this tells us a little bit more about the things that we missed. Captain Greetings, captains. Jesus. Welcome to the Honkai Operations Center. Thanks. Have you wondered where the Valkyries came from? What are they fighting for? And what exactly does Honkai mean? We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Oh, I see. Today okay. is a basic introduction to the prequel of the entire story. Oh! Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. The Honkai-verse is based on a parallel universe that reiterates this conflict, humanity's struggle against the Honkai. So the, the the world that we are in when it comes to Honkai isn't the world as we know it. It's just, it's like a complete parallel universe, completely. But what is the Honkai? We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force of chaos that existed from the beginning of time. Sheesh. Okay. It wants to destroy human civilization. And when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Honkai have tried to destroy us through creating supernatural disasters, monsters and plagues, and giving birth to Hershers, Godlike beings who can bend physical laws. In the Honkai, humanity has already established a high tech global civilization 50,000 years ago. Wait, is that like actual? Is that what the, the, the place looks like? Is, is this an actual uh, Honkai place or is this just a, to represent it? God damn. Modern humans refer to this civilization as the previous era. Unfortunately, those high-tech humans in the previous era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. No. The previous era was destroyed, but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. This brings us to the current era. Of course, Honkai wants to destroy humanity, so they didn't leave us in peace even in the current era. 2717 BC was the date of the earliest record of the Honkai beast attacks. Okay. Fortunately, gifted human warriors such as Ji Xuanyan helped us defeat these early Honkai monsters. Yo, is that Oz? <laughs> no, I know it's not Oz. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But she looks cool, though. The bird looks even cooler. But Ji Xuanyan disappeared into the seas after an expedition to defeat the giant Honkai beast, Chiyo. To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall of the Roman Empire. Shiksal, we've heard this before. We've already heard this during Chapter 1 and 2, right? The Shiksal? Shiksal was led by an overseer, usually a member of the Apocalypse family, who established Shiksal. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. They also developed crude Honkai-powered <gasps> weapons and <sighs> initiated the Honkai Crusades. Evil. The feudal armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. To increase its power, Shiksal also recruited and trained its own military. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Shiksal fighting force, and a legendary Valkyrie is Kallen of House Kaslana. Ah. Oh. The Kaslanas are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting the Honkai. Kalan's most powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, an artifact from the previous era that was very effective against the Honkai. Yo, that looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. <laughs> looks like a Millennium Eyepiece or something. You don't say Yu-Gi-Oh's old, okay? Like, come on now. However, many things happened in the year 1470. Honkai created an infectious virus that oh, caused Jesus. the Great Plague and killed millions throughout Europe. But Sheiksal did not focus on treating the plague. Instead, the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. The war ended with Sheiksal's defeat in 1475. Let's go. To pay for the losses, Sheiksal increased taxes and took oh. money from the poor. Let's not go. These bad decisions only made Sheiksal even less popular. When Sheiksal tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. Otto Apocalypse, a younger son of Sheiksal's ruling dynasty. Wait, I've heard that name before. Otto Apocalypse. Wait, where have I heard that? Otto's VA is Ayato's VA? Oh, oh, that's pretty sick. I think I've also heard Island like talk about Otto Apocalypse, but I, I can't remember why. But I, I feel like he talks about Otto Apocalypse a lot. No? I don't know. I could be wrong. The of House Apocalypse managed to develop a cure in 1475. Although he was not the heir to the seat of Overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The <gasps> deaths of his father and brothers allowed- Was that an infinity stone? Hold on, sorry. What is that thing, Ned? Oh god, that's Monka. Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new overseer. Jesus. Since then, human technology continued to grow. 
Everyone thought Honkai was gone, but the first Honkai eruption took place in 1952 and destroyed the entirety of Berlin. Whoa, what? The eruption gave birth to the first Hersher, a powerful godlike being capable of bending physical laws. Shiksal, which has become a rather secretive organization by now, quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. But Shiksal scientists failed to find out anything. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. Oh no, not London. It was there that the first Hersher was given the name Welt by the resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. The scientists and leadership of the North American branch were already very displeased with Otto's militaristic leadership. Some even doubted Otto's willingness to eradicate the Honkai. These huh. differences eventually led to the independence of the entire branch, which renamed themselves Anti-Entropy in 1955. Unlike Shiksal, which relied on Valkyries as its elite warriors, yeah. Anti-Entropy designed and built Honkai-powered mechs. Uh. The second Honkai eruption happened in 2000 and destroyed Siberia and the Russian Far East. Jesus! It turned out that Shiksal were performing many inhumane experiments on <gasps> Honkai-resistant children. What? One of them, Siren, awakened and acquired Hersher powers and proceeded to take revenge against those who tested on her and her friends. Oh. Shiksal mobilized hundreds of Valkyries and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles to defeat this foe. So, Honkai, I mean, okay, no, 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 no. Hersh's are bad. <laughs> I don't know. It, it seems like Valky Valkyrie's good, Hersh's bad right now. But also, some of the Hersh's are not so bad, and some of them might be good. God, this, it's, it's odd. Very Many odd. Valkyries fell in battle, including Cecilia Shariak, reputedly the best Valkyrie of Shiksal. 14 years later, in 2014, a minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, took place in Nagazora. Okay. The outbreak wiped out the entire city and transformed many into zombies. The cause was the partial awakening of Mei Raiden, the third Hersher, due to an implantation of a Hersher gem. The Nagazora outbreak was contained <gasps> oh, by Shiksol. Oh, that's what I assume... Speak of the fucking Millennium I dude. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh, come on now. I assume the gem that Otto had was, was a Hersher gem then, kind of like an Infinity Stone looking thing. Gem. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheiksaw Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. <gasps> the few Is that Terry Terry? Survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, hey. were then enrolled in St. Freya High School, a Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game itself. Honkai Impact 3rd starts... Is this spoilers or is this okay to... W well, there's like a second left. Hold in on. the year 2016, you are the captain of the flying battleship Hyperion of Sheiksal Far East Branch. You will lead Kiana Kaslana, yep. a brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. We hope this provides a basic understanding of the okay. important events and forces of Honkai Universe. The rest of the history will continue in future episodes following the life of Kiana, Mei, Bronya, and other Valkyries in the Honkaiverse. I am completely not going to remember the majority of this, but the things that I do remember is Auto Apocalypse looks cool as fuck, and there's, there's, uh, Hershes are not all bad, apparently, and some of the, everything's cool. And again, thank you, YouTube, for watching, and, and just a quick little video, watching some fun Honkai stuff, and if you want to see the playthrough, come follow us on Twitch and watch us for the 21st. Bye. <laughs>